Good morning there, Robert. It's Kerry here from Pacific Toyota Lexus Cans. But thank you very much for your phone call this morning. I appreciate it. And in your inquiry on our um, 2020 Isuzu MUX LSU that we have in stock today and that crystal pearl white. Um, so just before I go into the vehicle itself, I just want to let you know a little bit more about Pacific Toyota. So Pacific Toyota is actually one of two pre-owned dealerships here in Far North Queensland. So the one we're standing in right now is actually at 77 Mulgrave Road. So we're actually based in the city of Cairns itself. We're about 1.5 kilometers away from the city, so it's northbound. Our second pre-owned yard is actually at 235 Mulgrave Road, and that's southbound. That's about two kilometers on the left-hand side. Next to that is our franchise dealership Toyota as well too, and Lexus. Also, we have service and parts behind that as well too, and Doyle Street. Also, we actually own Officer Lock Four Drive Centre that we actually do as well too, and Pacific Hino, and also Coral Motors that does all our pre-inspections on our pre-owned vehicles we have in stock here. So, as you can see, we haul up to about 160 to 250 cars in stock at all times. We actually sell about 200 to 250 cars a month, and that's just not here in Far North Queensland. As you can see us here, that's actually around the whole of Australia as well too. So we deliver that all the time and basically we have freight coming back three times a week as well too. As you can see in the background, that is actually our showroom, so it's two stories. So let me tell you a little bit more about this Izizu MUX that we actually have in stock here today. Um, so this vehicle is actually a one owner, full box, full service history. Um, it's been looked after really well. It's kept in really good condition as a maintenance side as well too. And also um, the reason why that the people come out of this is to get that little bit more bigger vehicle for them, just to go that little bit further and adventure and they've got more kids as well to come. So let me tell you a little bit more into the engine bay itself as well too here, Robert. And then I'll go through and go through the exterior, interior, and also through the wheel arches. So as I said earlier, it's got the blue mod plate as well too. So that's for your long range fuel tank in it. It's great to have that long range fuel tank because if you do those long drivings, you don't have to always stop to fill up all the time. As you can see, it's got the eyes easy bull bar on it, it's deluxe. So it's got with the fog lights as well too, that's actually down below. They also put the six inch spotties on it, the LED lights as well, as you can see at the front of it. And also above that, you've got your UHF as well too. Fantastic, looks good. Black ball bar, steel as well too, so it's great. If you are adventuring going off road a bit, you don't have to avoid those kangaroos and stuff as well too. So as you go across to the top of the bonnet here, just to make sure there is no stone chips at all. If there is, I actually will point them out and get them fixed for your ASAP before delivery. Also fitted out with the uh, Safari snorkel. So that's good to have as well too, especially if you are doing these off-road adventures. Going up to the windscreen itself, just go across the top of the windscreen just to make sure there's no chips or cracks in the windscreen itself. I just noticed that we did do a couple of repairs on the windscreen. That's probably one there too as well. So there's two repairs that we did on the windscreen that I can see. We've actually had a massive reducing discount on this vehicle. As you can see, it was 56,990 and now reduced down to 52,990. Not 53, 52,990. So I'll step back here a little bit, looking down the left side of the vehicle, give you a little bit more better angle on here, Robert. Fantastic. So I'm just gonna walk and I'm making my way up to the rear of the vehicle. As I'm doing that, I'm just gonna go through and show you all the panels as well too, just to make sure that there is no blemishes on the panel. Fantastic, it looks really good. Like I said, they've kept it in great condition as well too. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go down to the kick panel, kick board itself, and then go back up through the wheel arches. Just to see how, you know, tidy it's actually underneath there. Through the wheel arches, very clean and tidy as you can see underneath there. They put the good tires on it as well, got the all terrains, Dunlops on there. Got your factory alloys, down onto the sideboards. Just a little bit of a damage there on the sideboard, but, um, that's that's all right. There's, it's not stopping it from not using it. Going through the wheel arch, also fitted out with the EMU suspension as well. Like I said to you earlier before on the uh, conversation on the phone, Robert. 
and then go through to the uh, passenger side door. So let's look at this side door, just checking all the trim. Down onto the pockets for your water bottle. Down onto the kick panel itself. It's got your, got your uh, factory uh, Isuzu rubber mats. Got your cup holders there. Up onto your dash with the dash mats covered as well too. So you can see that they've looked after that really well. Back through the driver's side. In through the center console. As I said earlier, it's got the G GME UHF 40 channel as well. It's great to have. It's got your owner's manual and your service books and two keys as well. Plus the extra master key that it has it as well. Okay, having a look back through to the rear wheeler, uh, sorry, the rear passenger door. Just gonna go around through the trim. Just checking the trim itself. Couple little marks, but it is a pre-owned vehicle. Up through to the back of the seats. And then basically just going through the middle row seat now. So before I do that, you've got an extra little center part where you can put your cup holes as well too. So it's great to have that. And then as I said, if I fold that seat down, you've got the extra seats there as well too. But showing you how much room that you can actually fold that seat up as well too, Robert. Fantastic. Okay, so having a look at the rear bar now. As you can see on the rear bar, it's got the uh, factory sensors on it. So Parker sensors as well. Got a couple little minor scratches on it as well. Okay, having a look at before I rip up the tailgate, you've got your reversing camera there. Lift up the tailgate itself and just have a look inside the trim. So you've got your extra little department so you can put stuff in there as well. Um, if you want to get out of that, Robert, you could take that off and uh, remove it if you wanted to. You've got your back rear seats that you can pull up and have them up as well too. If I pull to the right here, you can have a look inside there what, I'm, what I mean. If I pull this down, you can have that option of having them fold it down as well. But it's got cup holders as well too for the back people that want to sit in the back. And then you've got your 12 volt. So if you have an angle fridge or something that you want to charge up, you can always use the back part as well too. So I close up the rear tailgate now. Just go back on the uh, right side of the vehicle down the driver's side. Give you a little bit more better angle on that side, Robert. Just gonna make my way down to the front of the vehicle. Fantastic. Got that pretty good view on that side as well too. Nice, so I'm just gonna go around the wheel arch here now. Just gonna go through the wheel arch. Checking the tyres on it, fantastic, got plenty of tread on the tyres. Down onto the uh, sideboards, as the uh, side steps itself we call it. And then back through the uh, wheel arch itself. Checking the tyres as well too, and checking the rims. Okay, just notice that there is a couple little scratch marks, but that's just a bit of, bit of tyre stuff there, stain. A couple little marks here that I've noticed that, that's there. Oh, that's just a bit of dirt. But I can get that buff and buff them out as well too. Open up the passenger rear door now on the driver's side. Down onto the uh, kick panel. Up onto the back of the seat. And going back through the middle row seats as well too. Just go above there and get that camera down on top. Fantastic. Okay. Right, driver's side door. This is the main door that you're always going to be using 24-7. Uh, just checking the trim on it. Got your power windows as well as you can see. Got your central locking as well. Kick panel. And then just got a couple little marks on the side of the kick panel that we can actually fix up for you. Um, just for, you know, getting out of the vehicle. Having a look onto the panel, you've got your folding mirrors. Also your power mirrors as well as self. Then you've got your fog lights that you can turn off and on. Also cup holders. And then you've got your hill descent timing as well. Your traction control button's right there, going through the dash. Okay, this is the most important thing, just to get the uh, camera on the uh, the cluster, just to show you the display. So if I put the key in there, start it up. 
got a nice display. As you can see, it's got 74,409 on the clock. Before I go away from the steering wheel, just want to make sure I go around the steering wheel itself, just to make sure there's no blemishes on the steering wheel. You've got your volume controls, you've got your Bluetooth as well. On the right side of your steering wheel, you've got your cruise control that you can turn off and on and use in any settings. Insert your blinkers, your headlights, so you've got your fog lights there as well, and also just your normal headlights. You pair your wipers on your rear wipers and your front wipers. As you can see that I've just turned that on. And just having a look at the display, so in this little department here that you got, you've got a little coin department or you can use it for something, it's up to you. But you've got a little hiding spot there. Also, you've got your touch screen, so you've got your sat navigation system in there. Also, you've got your reversing camera as well. Fantastic. And then just below that there, also you've got your air conditioning, dual climate, so you can change your air conditioning sides. Just underneath that there, Robert, also you've got your electric brake system, so you don't have to worry about putting electric brakes in your vehicle, it's already got it. USB points, AUX as well. And then you've got your UHF here. Like I said to you, it's a 40 channel amp. Um, I'll just see if I can turn it on and just make sure it's working for you. Yeah, can I get a radio check, please? All right, I got that turned down. Turn that off. Okay, having a look in the center part here, you've got your four-wheel drive switching off and on as well too, as you can see from two high, four high, and four low. In the part, center part, you've got your cup holders. You can use it for cup holders. Also, you've got your extra little department that you want to use that and then uh, turn that into a little coin. But they use that as an ashtray, but I've never heard of ashtrays anymore. You've got your center console, fantastic. Okay, so the most important thing to, to actually have a look at this is the logbooks and service history. So you've got your logbooks here. Your first service was done at 2,700. Second one was done at 15,700. Third one was done at 32,600. Next one was done at 45. One after that is 61,000 Ks. And the last one after that one is at 74,364 on the clock. And that was done by us Pacific Hino, as I was talking to you earlier about. But Robert, thank you very much for your inquiry. Um, it's coming to the end of the video. I would like to say thank you very much. I appreciate your call today. If there is anything else I can definitely do for you, Robert, please let me know. Um, yes, I'll definitely be waiting for those photos of the trade. And you can just text them through, Robert. Thank you very much. Hopefully we can make you a proud owner of this 2020 Isuzu MUX 4x4 wagon.